Ladies and gentlemen, we're at war at the moon. Oh, Welcome. Yeah. The moon's coming to attack us. It's we falling. Riveting, terrifying documentary tonight. Mm -hmm. um, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Moonfall review. Uh, yeah, it is a movie. Technically, it is. Saw it at the theater. Um, it started and it ended. And uh, <laughs> good night, everyone. Um, yeah. I was kind of blown away that it was based on a true story. Yeah. Did not see that coming. I did not see that coming at all. It is. Listen, this is one of those uh, documentaries to add a long list of documentaries on uh, why we shouldn't give technology too much control. Yeah. Are we spoiling things? That we spoiling things? Uh, I guess we shouldn't since it's, yeah. you know, opening weekend. But I mean, you kind of um, just did. So whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really spoil anything. I mean, a little, but no, that's you true. Know. It kind of it kind of reveals itself at the end. There. I mean, if you watch the trailer, yeah. you know something yeah. weird is happening. That's true. Um, so, Moonfall, we saw it tonight, and by you can tell, by you can tell, as you can tell from our demeanor, <laughs> not great. Yeah, not great. It, it had some fun moments, though. Yeah, let's be real. If we end up even accidentally spoiling this. After a review, you probably won't want to watch it. So that's true. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody gets mad at us for spoiling Moonfall, you got other issues going on in life that you need to seek help for. Um, yeah. And uh, there's no bashing there. I'm just, this is some advice, you know. Yeah. Um, we're not talking uh, Spider Man No Way Home here. Or mm -hmm. this is uh, basically the premise of this movie is this the moon's out of orbit and it's attacking. And well, no, technically it's falling. It's falling. Yes, the title and it, is very and it does. It falling. Yes, I mean, listen, if with a title like Moonfall, it it fell. It did, and so there, there it was advertised honestly. And mm -hmm. Roland Emmerich, not Ronald Emmerich, as I got wrong tonight. Roland yes, Emmerich, he did. Congrats, congrats on your honesty. Um, so chaos ensues because we need the moon to stay. I don't know science or geography well. Mm -hmm. But we need the moon to stay put, correct? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And look at that tagline. Earth, we have a problem. We do. We actually have a lot oh. of problems. We with, had a with we had a problem fun. tonight in the theater. We had a problem. Mm -hmm. This movie. So, nah, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't say it. that's not fair. Yeah. Well, maybe we should at least get into just the good, the bad. Let's just get into it. Uh sure, yeah. I mean yeah. So, so probably one of the best things about this movie is that for the most part, it didn't take itself too seriously until um, it did until it did. Yeah. Um, but because right. there was a lot of stuff where it felt very uh, self-aware, I guess is probably mm -hmm. the best way to put it. And they, you know, so a lot of the stuff was good. They had some, they actually had some things that were in there that were actually pretty funny. Um, yeah. Like when they were trying to be funny, it was actually pretty yes. funny. The funny um, moments were funny. I legitimately laughed. But the mm -hmm. problem is I laughed at other things too that I wasn't supposed to laugh at. Yeah. Um, well, we'll get to that in a second. We'll get to, <laughs> yeah, sorry about it. Yeah, we're talking about the good. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. On topic, uh, Gary. Yeah, but, my bad. The, but yeah, uh, so, so there's some of that. Yeah. And uh, and if you and if you're just like, I want to see disaster, disaster happens. Yeah, you disaster know? happens. It's uh, um, very much like 2000, was it 2012, Day After mm -hmm. Tomorrow type things. Very similar to that, which is other. Yeah movies of his i believe and uh um i thought halle berry was was good in it mm -hmm. i thought the guy who played the just pull up the imdb machine here i apologize folks um what was that guy's name uh casey hausman or whatever mm -hmm. uh he yeah that guy the guy with the glasses there um he he was probably my favorite character in the movie um mm -hmm. and uh but everybody else was just kind of like all right um, but, uh, he brought some really good, interesting moments, funny moments and, uh, Halle mm -hmm. Berry was Halle Berry and, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, outside of honestly, the, these three in this picture, um, as far as characters and acting, that's really all it's based around. And they probably should have just focused on them three and left it at that just to yeah. be honest with you. But, uh, mm -hmm. cause then three were, you know, they were fine. Uh, mm -hmm. and so, yeah, and, and that was, you know, pretty much 
I guess all the real good about this thing. Um, story yeah. was story was okay, okay. Uh, until it wasn't. Until then, it, it just was bad. Um, yeah. and, and so it was very like I remember sitting there. And Gary, I told you this earlier. Uh, you know, a lot of this just reminded me of me playing with my old Jurassic Park toys, making stuff up as I went along. Um, mm-hmm. And so it was just kind of like this is recently, folks. This is not. This is- <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sorry. with all my Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toys. Like, it's just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but I, I, honestly, I don't know what else to really talk about, unfortunately, because I think it, that's about as far as it goes. Yeah, because it, it had it, it had more good until it stopped being self aware mm-hmm. and started taking itself seriously. Because at first I was like, it's not taking itself too seriously. I appreciate that. And then mm-hmm. all of a sudden, something happens in this movie. And the tone of it just shifts. And I was like, oh, you had to do that. You're not that movie. For no reason. And, yeah, for no reason. Yeah, I was like, and I'm sitting there to myself saying, our good buddy Alan was there. And I'm sitting there, I probably drove him crazy because I wasn't allowed. I was just like, you're not that movie. You're not that director. Mm-hmm. Don't do this. Don't do this. Yeah. And it did. And it's just like tone, yeah. the tone of it was just like, yeah. all right. I don't know if you noticed me, Gary, but there's plenty of times I was, I was just like, like I put my hands up. I was like, what are we doing here? I'm my hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, I, I don't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It was, yeah. uh, it was pretty brutal. Yeah. And, uh, so I guess we're just going into the bad, am I right? Yeah. Might as well just keep rolling into it. Yeah. So. And it was pretty bloated too. It's two hour runtime. Um, mm-hmm. it rushed through the planning stuff of how to fix the moon i don't know if you did you notice that like anytime they were talking about how to mm-hmm. fix it they, they rushed through the planning procedures and yeah. i know why it's probably because they didn't want to have to they didn't even know what they were doing um <laughs> yeah. so and then and then all of a sudden you get like scenes uh you get like a chase scene out of nowhere where mm-hmm. bad guys were trying to you know and then uh, michael pena's character had a really nice moment but it was just like not necessary um, well, I didn't care about a yeah. lot, like, like his nice moment. I really didn't care because it wasn't enough yeah. invested in his character. N- yeah, not, and it's not that kind of, it's not that kind of movie either. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, and then there is not to spoil anything, but I don't care. There is a moment where one of the main character, not a main character, but a, a pretty important character, mm-hmm. has a tree fall on him, not a branch, <laughs> not a giant leaf, a like a giant trunk is laying across his chest Mm -hmm. and he's fine. They just lift it off of him. He's Mm -hmm. he's okay. Yeah. And and they made an attempt to like justify it because they were like, Oh look, it's not completely on him. Look how the branches, look how it's setting. And then with stuff happening and how they remove it, Mm -hmm. I was like, well, that's convenient. (laughs) Tree trunks. Look quick public service announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, tree trunks are undefeated ver- versus people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, if you see a tree trunk attacking, get out of the way. Yeah. Um, if you don't let this movie lead you astray. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just kind of is very bloated. Um, and the, just the way it ended just kind of. Yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. It ended up like, like you could, like to me, it just felt like the director Emmerich was just kind of like, I'm going to make a movie um, that's going to essentially be the shrine to Emmerich. Because mm-hmm. I, as I was watching it, I felt like I was watching a lot of his other movies. And mm-hmm. he just took all the best parts of his other movies and smushed them together and just figured, hey, if I take all the best parts and put them together, it'll be a great movie, right? Yeah. No, sir. None yeah. at all. No, sir. Even the ending of this movie, he was tr- like, um, before the second ending, uh, <laughs> It was, it was trying to channel the ending of Independence Day. Did you notice mm-hmm. that? Where they're yeah. walking from the, you know, I was like, oh, okay. And then it but I also thought it was like, okay, I'm going to take a piece of Terminator, a piece of the Matrix, you know, mm-hmm. um, a piece of Interstellar. And Armageddon. Gonna, and Armageddon, I'm going to make this movie. And, and it's yeah. just like, all right, have fun yeah. with it, I guess. But but my, my issue is this. It's, I, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I can't watch a fun B movie. I can, I enjoy those from time to time, but be that or, or, or not be one or the other. Don't try mm-hmm. to be both. And that's my issue with it. It tried to be both. Yes. Just like uh, Ron Swanson told frozen yogurt, mm-hmm. be ice cream or be nothing. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and that's what, and that's what it was like. 
like I said, I, I told you afterwards, I was very much like on board for what for the silliness that was ensuing mm-hmm. for the for a good chunk of the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I was on board, but then when it made that switch to say, mm-hmm. now we're going to try to get really sciency. Now we're going to try to really get like you know, intelligent and try to explain why all this is happening. Mm-hmm. No, like you, you can't do that. You, you're, you titled this thing Moonfall. Moonfall. The moon is falling. You can't get too sciencey, man. You can't take it yeah. too seriously. Yeah. Be what you set out to be. You know what made, you know, your other movie and Independence Day great? You had fun with it. You, did. you didn't take it too seriously. There are things in it that are absolutely ridiculous and should mm-hmm. and it's just stupid. But we went along with it because you kept the same tone throughout the whole thing. You should have done the same thing. And, and then also you focused on Will Smith's character. Mm-hmm. You know, you focused on, um, you know, what's his name? That's in everything. Bill Pullman. Uh, yeah, you focus on Bill Pullman and then you focused on a- You didn't go quietly into the night. Know, yeah, Ian Ian Mal- you know, Ian Malkin. Malkin. Yeah. What's his name? <laughs> Jeff something. Uh, I forget his name anyways. Get a but virus hey. in that uh, mother yeah. shit. Jeff Goble. There we Jeff go. Jack Nabbit. Yeah. You know, so you had these three characters, but mm-hmm. you focused just on them. You didn't give us uh, them and their specific fame. You didn't have this all this random stuff. I mean, you did a little bit with Will Smith's family. Was a little, mm-hmm. you know, like oh, we got to yeah. find that. But it wasn't like over the top. With this one, I felt like we kept pulling away from the action and what was happening to focus on his mm-hmm. fame, kind of fame, whatever. Yeah, I don't even know. To well, like, hey, here's how they're going. And I'm like, I, I, I don't care. I don't just care. really don't. Well, and it, the thing that Independence Day had was the characters were interesting and the actors could actually, they were real actors in the movie. Mm-hmm. Outside of Halle Berry and the guy that played Casey, everyone yeah, else. Patrick was, something. Patrick Wilson. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they they were dreadful. Oh, I mean, yeah. Just, I mean, they're, I mean, just like laughable how bad some of these lines mm-hmm. were. And it was just like, and I, and I told you after the movie, I said, this was Halle Berry and Patrick Wilson away from being a made for sci-fi channel mm-hmm. movie, you know? Um, yeah. But, but they also try to make Patrick Wilson, the good guy, which he's always the bad guy in everything. Yeah. So oh, I, I got confused. I was talking about the guy with glasses. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't know who he is. <laughs> yeah. But, but, um, yeah. As I say, like for me, Patrick Wilson, the other guy, he, mm-hmm. uh, he's always the bad guy and does well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And him trying to be the good guy still felt like he was a bad guy. Yeah, a lot of the times. Exactly. Yeah. And so, um, it, yeah, it it was a uh, it was a little too much, and it, it they should have just tried to kept it a little tighter. You know, this probably would have been a great ninety minute movie. Um, yeah, it did not yeah. need to be that long. No, it did not need to be that long. Kept keep it at ninety minutes, and that way it keeps it concise. You don't have to have like you said that second ending mm-hmm. and all this weird stuff. I mean, it it was. It was literally like, okay, the moon's falling. We have to save, stop it from falling. And some of the stuff that they have in, in this movie, and again, if you watch the trailer, you know there's something weird because there's this black thing flying around. Mm-hmm. So you know it isn't just science, right? We're in sci-fi. Yeah. I and thought so, it was Venom. I, that would have been cool. <laughs> <I thought it's laughs> but, but yeah, but it's like, if you would have just rolled with the simpler version of what you did, I think it would have been a better movie. Mm-hmm. And, but it just they just got too complicated and you shouldn't have done that when your movie again is called moonfall, moonfall. Yeah. I, mean, I mean just give the people what they want nonsensical turn off your brain movie yes the science doesn't make sense whatever but you know what however i think i i think i said this to you um at least they didn't find random people to become astronauts i'll at least give that's them that true. that's that's the step they have you know Armageddon's nonsense mm-hmm. is not present in this movie, um, but I still love Armageddon. Oh, Armageddon's yeah. stupid, but I still yeah. love that. So, uh, but I think that the but Armageddon fits in that guilty pleasure category. I don't think this can fit in there because of how it all wraps up. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like I'll probably never see this again. Yeah, same. You know, question yeah. for you: mm-hmm. If you had, because this is. If you had to rewatch one of these, Matrix, Re- Revelations, what was it? Resurrection, Resurrections. Or Moon Landing, Moonfall, <laughs> what would it be? Uh, we don't like either of these. Uh, if I have to watch one of these again, it'd probably be Matrix. I think yeah. I had more fun with Matrix than I did with this. 
I agree as well. Yeah. But the big story out of tonight is there's a Nicolas Cage movie coming out. Oh, yeah. Where he's playing himself in a movie. And it looks fantastic. <laughs> yes. And I, that was the preview. We all looked at each other. We're like, <laughs> we're watching that. <laughs> so looks- that was my highlight of the night. Um, oh, yeah. But anything else we got to say about Moonfall? Um, I mean, the, other than we just go, need to go ahead and rate this thing so you can see yeah. where it's at. Um, and just remember, people, a one is 100% completely unwatchable. Mm-hmm. Don't even waste your time. You know, and then it goes up from there. Five is a masterpiece. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think we're on the same page here, uh, Gary, mm-hmm. uh, with this one. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and throw this up unless unless your rating has changed. No, it hasn't. I mean, you didn't you didn't say anything. I don't. Well, you yeah. said what you, what you were thinking, but yeah. unless it changed, you yeah, know, I'm just going to go ahead and, and yeah. uh, put this. It's one a two. Here. It's a two. Yeah. I mean, it's a movie that uh, if you're flipping through the channels and you're cleaning the house or something, maybe have it on in the background. You're like, oh, Halle Berry, I remember her. You know, mm-hmm. um, she's in the movie, and the guy that played Casey. They they make it not a one, yeah. Without their characters, because I thought Casey's character was actually interesting and funny. Mm-hmm. I like that guy. You know, um, if he's not in this movie, this is probably a one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, know. yeah. And that Casey guy, he is the Jeff Goldblum of this movie he from is. Independence Day. Yeah. And uh, like you said, he not was, as good he, as Jeff Goldblum, but yeah, he's... not as good. He was he was funny and stuff, but yeah, uh, this is. This is not something that will be purchased. This will not be on the shelf. No. Um, if I don't watch it again, whatever. Um, it wasn't a hundred percent just a horrible mess uh, like other stuff. Um, but just put it this way: uh, you don't don't need to see this in the theater. You would no. think you would, but you don't yeah. need to. No. Uh, wait. If you just have to see this movie, wait to stream it. Voodoo mm-hmm. it. Um, you know, hits Netflix or something. Yeah. So there you go. Two Hail Marys from your real pastors. Yeah. Uh, that's that's all it gets. It's uh, yeah. it's a shame. I was hoping, I was, like honestly, I was hoping this would be a dumb fun three kind of movie. Yeah. And uh, it just was not. People are going to see the runtime on this video and think, oh man, this movie must be really good. Because <laughs> I just rambled too much. I apologize, folks. Yeah. Well, we're, we're, we're upset. We're disappointed that yeah. it wasn't what we wanted. Yeah, it wasn't as fun as I wanted it to be. Nope. I didn't no. have fun. I know. And uh, it's a shame. It's yeah. a real shame. I'm like that and... kid in uh, Space Jam. Don't bring me here anymore, right? <laughs> Don't bring me here anymore, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So that's what we got, folks. What are your yep. thoughts if you happen to see it? Or did we save you some money and time? Mm-hmm. Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear it. And then, of course, if you yeah. haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And yeah. uh, and, it, and what is your favorite disaster movie? Disaster oh, yeah. movie. Comment under the bottom and let us know what it is because there's a bunch of them. Yeah, and, and some of them are trash, and this one belongs in that pile. And there's a lot of them better than this one. Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks cool. for watching, folks, yep. and uh, keep an eye on that moon. See you.